Yes, 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 yes. Woo! All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so damn ecstatic, man. So if you guys have not heard the news, Pete Golden is out of here. He's gone. Yes. Okay, no, but no. Pete Golden is out. He is now going to be the new defensive coordinator from Ole Miss. Uh, of course, you know, Saban's not going to fire anybody. We all know that's not going to happen. If he's going to let somebody go, it's because he's going he's gonna to find a job. I, listen, I can guarantee this. How much you want to bet that Nick Saban called up Lane Kiffin and said, listen, Lane, I got a proposition for you. If you, I got a proposition for you. You're looking, I know you're trying to get your defense up. Let me help you out. I got, I got a coach here in, in Pete Golden. Do you want to, you want him? He got an actual championship on his resume. You want him? He's developed some players. Well, coach, who did he develop? You know, Christian Harris, Will Anderson, right? He developed Will Anderson. Coach, you really, he, did you really think he developed Will Anderson? I don't, you know, he was a part of the process, right? It's all about the process. You know, Lane. Go ahead and take take Pete Golden out. Your hand, you're like, take him, take him, take him. All right, Coach, I, I'm going to do you a solid. You did me a solid, I'm going to do you a solid. Let me take Pete Golden off your hands. How much you want to bet that Nick Saban was a part of that? Oh, my goodness gracious, guys. I am so ecstatic because I I never in a million years thought that Nick Saban was going to let go of, of, of Pete Golden. I thought that he was going to do everything in his power to keep Pete Golden here because why? Because Pete Golden, is a, he's a yes man, right? I mean, Nick's, I mean, for the most part, he's been running Nick Saban's defense. Uh, whatever orders he's been, you know, he's been told to do, he's tried to do it. He's done it in the best of his ability, right? And he's young, right? This is a guy that's still in his 30s. And uh, he can be there for a very long time. So, you know, Nick Saban, I, listen, Nick Saban... And this is pretty much any other coach. If you can have a Kirby Smart for like ten for ten plus years, you know, under under your tutelage, I mean, you would take it. I mean, so I think Nick Saban was trying to develop uh, that next Kirby Smart type of coach. Maybe didn't didn't work out, but I I don't know. I just I didn't think he was gonna let him go. If anything, Bill O'Brien, I'm still listen. I'm still hopeful he's gone. Right? I'm not worried about that to the slightest. I still think that Bill O'Brien is out of here. But I just, I never thought that if anybody, if any coach was going to leave, it was Pete Golden. I, I just didn't really see that one coming. So I, I'm I'm sorry, guys. I'm ecstatic because we can finally find a, a, a great, we can finally find a defensive coordinator that could get us back to the Bama standard, right? We need to get great defenses back because let's be honest here. We haven't had a great defense since 2017. It's been almost, what, six, seven years now since 2017 has started. We got to get back to that standard, and it starts with the defense. It starts up front, guys. And again, Bill O'Brien, you're next. Hopefully, you're next, right? Even though, again, I, again, I don't, you know, hopefully you can find a job elsewhere, right? I don't want you fired. I want you to find another job, right? We got to take on that Nick Saban moto. I want you to find another job so you can get paid handsomely and take care of your family. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I would not like, you know, I, I want you to find another job. I just don't want you here. I, I don't want you here, Bill. Um, but no, I mean, we got to get back to that standard. We got to get to that motor. We got to start developing our players. These players got to be in the right mindset. It all starts with the coaching staff. And like I said, if you want to, right, let's be honest here. We're catching Georgia. We're trying to catch Georgia right now. They are the key holders. They're the title holders right now. And it's not just them. LSU's catching up with Brian Kelly. Josh Heupel's catching up with Tennessee. Uh, these programs are starting to get better. And we need to catch up. We need to try to catch up with these guys. And sometimes in order for you to do that, you got to adapt. And sometimes by adapting, you have to make certain sacrifices in order for the in order for your program or in order for you to reach to the top of the mountain. I mean, let's be honest. And Nick Saban's a very, very loyal guy. He, but let's, I mean, like I said, sometimes, again, his version of cleaning house is coaches leaving, but they're finding jobs in a hurry, right? They're not firing them and then damaging their reputation, no, I mean, Nick Saban always finds these guys uh, co jobs. That's why Alabama has always been known as Coaching Rehab University because of that simple fact. But, you know, you got to clean house sometimes and you got to find the right guys that can help mold, like fix these players, mold these players, let, let these players grow and develop and reach their full potential. And we've been doing that for 15 plus years. Obviously, the last couple, obviously, the last two to three years have not done that. Um, but, it starts off with the coaching staff and with Pete Golden gone. And sooner or later, we can let go of Bill O'Brien. He can go, you know, he can go. We can start to work our, ourselves back up, man. We can start to do that again. And, and I'm, I'm, oh boy, I am, I am ecstatic. I am happy right now. And because I'm not going to lie to you, 
If Bill O'Brien and Pete Golden would have stayed for this year, I would have made a video and the season would have been over. I would have made a video saying that Bama season's already over and uh, that's it. I don't even know if I would even watch the 23 season when, they, when you know you're going to watch the same crap over and over again. Alabama underachieving. Alabama, for the most part, playing to their level of competition, losing about a couple games for 2023, and then, we're, and then Bama fans are bitching, moaning, complaining of why we don't get into the damn playoffs, even though, for the most part, we're barely winning against four or five win football teams. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, you know, I already knew how this crap was going to go. But now that changes are being made, and that's not, it's not just Bill, uh, Pete Golding just leaving, changes are being made right in front of our eyes. Changes that we didn't even think was even possible. Who in the hell, if you were to tell me that Nick Saban was going to let go of Pete Golding, I would, I, would call, I would call you a liar. I would call you a liar. If it was Bill O'Brien, I'm like, okay, you know what? That's great. Now we can bring in an offensive coordinator, get this uh, get this offense back rolling. But now, if you're, if you're, if you're going to tell me that Pete Golding and O'Brien are going to be gone, I, I, I would think you're on drugs. Seriously. I would think you're on drugs. But it's happening. It's, it's, it's actually happening. Changes are being made, and who knows? Positional coaches could leave. Maybe some more players in the transfer portal could go, or maybe they did go in for the draft. We can start building up our youthful, young football players. We can start to build up this coaching staff back up again. Guys, it is, it is phenomenal. Right now, we could be entering a new era. Of We could be entering a, either a new era or maybe a returning era back to dominance. We could be. And it all started today by let get by, by let going uh by by letting go of of, of P Golding. Guys, I'm I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. I, I have no words. I know I'm all over the place this video, man, but I guys, I, I this is incredible. This is incredible. I, I I didn't think this was gonna happen. Uh let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts about this. Oh man. This is crazy. Last week I'm I'm pissed off. I'm disappointed because I'm watching Georgia lift the trophy again back to back, and now I'm just Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it.